dead deer I found in the water. I don't like Ambridge. Why don't you like Ambridge? Because they just keep ruining other people's lives. It's just he's a perfectly healthy child and now he's got all these problems after the oil spill. Like they're able to do jumping jacks, they're able to do all these exercises in gym that I'm can't, I just can't do because of the oil spill. Why are we still getting sick? And they won't give me answers. Oh, it's clean, it's safe, it's this, it's that. Live here then, tell me it's clean and it's safe. And your, your company says it's not harmful. But yet, it's like, I'm not gonna make it to my 50th birthday, I'm 49 years old. Did they ever try to evacuate you? No, they said if I go outdoors to stay out no more than five minutes. And he died of a seizure in the house three days before she died from cancer. All right. Yeah, I got two in one week at Christmas. And did you go to the hospital and your, to see your doctor about it? Yeah. And what did your doctor say? She said that's where it came from, the smell. It affected my asthma real bad. And then they had to put me on oxygen. I, my memory is absolutely shot. And you said your lungs are really bad? Uh, yep, I was just diagnosed with emphysema. They said I had the lungs of an 83-year-old man. And you were fine before that? And I was fine before that. And that dog was healthy as a horse until that oil spill. And her, the other people down here have a dog, and it's been seriously sick. I think a lot of things contribute to the oil spill. I had to give my children's father CPR myself to save his life. He had one seizure in front of the kids at home. We've had, I believe, six people that have died here. We just had another person two days ago die at Baker Trailer Park. I've noticed some problems with my lungs that I never had before. Right. You yes. know. And I believe that's from all the chemicals you breathe in. Yep. What? Fear, headaches, nausea, fatigue, forgetfulness, all of it. What was your, some of your symptoms that you had after um, the oil spill? I had uh, three seizures at the other house and two seizures where I live now. And then my son actually had a uh, an episode where he looked like he was having seizures, passing out. I even took him to the ER. I got migraines. I had a seizure for the first time in my life. This is why we have to stop Embridge and these oil companies from doing this. They're having seizures and they're, they're getting sick from this tar sand oil. Please help us. Uh, it hurts, I know, baby. I know, honey. Mama. It's okay, it's okay. Help me, Mom. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, You're all right. All right. Oh. Who am I? Michelle. The oil and gas industry, the dishonesty that these people uh, possess and the, and the things that they do that are detrimental to communities is almost beyond belief. And they have no uh, compassion whatsoever. They have no honesty. They have no pride and they, uh, they're worried about the bottom line. The bottom line is the bottom line.